So here I'm working on putting the uh, clear roofing panels onto the roof and I actually ended up working after dark because there was a storm coming so I used my my headlamp and uh, got this roof put on after dark. So it's going up on you to do is go in and out so I can keep it straight. So I go that way. Well, it won't go well. This is Daddy? Sir? Um, I want to sew and the sew the charger is not to help. See? Okay, hang on just a little bit, alright? <laughs> you can move back here. Help.
here I'm trying to figure out where the bottom board for this wall should be. So I'm measuring the length of these windows and I want them to overlap by a half inch. So trying to figure out where, where the uh, bottom of the wall is going to be located. Yeah, this is a sharp stick. It is a sharp stick. I'm using that. I'm using sharp. That's no funny. that over here, okay? Huh? I'm gonna need that axe over here for a minute. Is it?
So I didn't actually fasten the windows to the wall. I took a, a small strip and nailed it to the to the stud and then pushed the window tight against the strip and then put another strip on the front side to hold the window in. I didn't want to screw it into the wall or anything and take a chance at uh, shattering the glass and I believe this made a, a much tighter fit anyway. It sealed it up really nicely. Uh, I put hinges on every top window so that they can be easily opened. And I'm also going to get one of those uh, automatic openers so that it, when it gets to a certain temperature in the greenhouse it will open these windows.
Jelly Goose. Jelly mm. Goose? I found a great deal on some cedar slabs. I actually bought a truckload for ten dollars and uh, so I figured out how to use these for the siding on this thing and also for the perimeter on the raised bed. decided to um, put a raised bed both on the outside and the inside of the greenhouse instead of putting some kind of metal or finishing the bottom of the greenhouse under the windows I'm just going to put a raised bed and the dirt will um, the dirt will insulate under the wall basically plus I'll get a, a growing space both inside and outside
I've already got some lettuces started. That's cool. I just put those in those pots a few days ago. Not even finished with the greenhouse and I've already got stuff growing. 